This is Coach Lee, and in this video, I'm going to talk to you about signs that your ex is pretending to be over you. Click the subscribe button below so that you can be notified when I have more content that's helpful to your situation. That includes relationships, mindfulness, romance, marriage, getting your ex back after a breakup, and success in life. Sometimes an ex will break up with you and then you go into the no contact rule and your ex has to experience the breakup and they decide, you know what, they don't like being broken up with you and they want you back. But sometimes ego can get in the way. And this is temporarily because if it is strong enough, the desire to get back together with you, your ex will reach out to you. They will get over that hump. They will find a way. Just like your ex found a way to get over the hump and actually go through with the breakup. It wasn't something that they wanted to do. And like I've said in other videos, it was something they had most likely been thinking about and struggling with for a long time. It wasn't just something that they woke up and did or woke up and decided to do. And so they were able to get over that hump and to actually break up with you. And I know a lot of you are concerned and you think, well, my ex just doesn't have the courage or they can't bring themselves to, or they're too stubborn to actually reach out to me and try to get back together with me. Wouldn't you know it, I have a video on that as well called, Will No Contact Work on a Stubborn X? And I'll link to that in the description below. But just know that people go after what they want. And if your ex wants to get back together with you enough to where it's true and actually would be good for you, and not just a short lived thing that would end in another breakup, if they want it enough, they'll push through and they'll reach out. I know a lot of you are concerned about that and I wanted to clear the air on that before we get going with some of these signs. So the first sign would be one of the most obvious and that is that they try to make you jealous. This applies mostly if you happen to see them quite a bit. Maybe you work with them and I have a video on something called smart contact, which will talk about how you can use no contact even if you're working with your ex and you don't violate no contact and yet you're seeing them and even having to interact with them some. So that video is called smart contact versus no contact and I'll link to it in the description below as well. Watch it when you're done watching this video all the way through. So if your ex is trying to make you jealous, they see you out and they want to make you jealous. Now that doesn't mean that you happen upon your ex and they're on a date with someone else or they're being flirty with someone else and you just happen to walk in, but that it appears that your ex is just trying to do it to get at you. They're trying to flirt with this person so that you see it. They want you to see it. They might even be going overboard. Maybe they cut their eyes at you to see if you're watching. A lot of times you'll have a good idea if your ex is trying to make you jealous or if it just happens by circumstance. But if they're trying to make you jealous, they're probably not over you. Either that or they're a gigantic jerk. Another sign that your ex is pretending to be over you is that they want you to think that they're just doing spectacular, that things are going so well in their life and they are just so happy without you, of course. And they just go on and on about it. They tell other people to make sure that you know. They tell you, even when they're asking how you're doing, they want you to know, no matter how you're doing, I'm doing awesome. Now they might not say those exact words, I'm summarizing, but that's what they would say. They would want you to think that they are just doing terrifically well and that life is going exactly as they want it to go now that they've broken up with you. And there's lots of ways that they can do that. Just pay attention if the effort is made to make you think that things are going really well for them. Another sign that sort of has something to do with what I just talked about, but that is they will ask how you're doing without volunteering how they are doing. Now that doesn't mean that if you ask them that they won't tell you, but they will ask how you're doing and the reason they're asking is not just to make conversation. I mean, they want to know they are looking for signs and clues as well to see if you are doing okay without them. And if you're not, or if they pick up on you not being, it gives them a little bit of hope. And that can leave a fork in the road because they might try to get something moving to where maybe you two could start the path to getting back together. Or it might give them enough comfort and it might 
keep them relieved enough that you're not moving on that they don't do anything. And so that's a little bit tricky and I do talk about that in my emergency breakup kit which is linked to in the description below. And I talk about that a lot in other videos as well. Somewhat related is another sign. They will post memes and graphics and quotes on social media talking about happiness and how wonderful life is and how they've just kicked life's butt or they've had a great week or they've learned who they can really trust. Some of these statements that just sort of make conclusions as though they've arrived to this area, this place inside of them of happiness and that their world is just great. If they're doing that on social media, they're probably wanting you to see it and they're wanting you to think that they're doing great because they're pretending to be over you because they're hoping to get a little bit of a reaction out of you, some sort of action. They probably even want you to reach out. You shouldn't. You should wait for them to be the one to reach out to you. But this is a case of your ex baiting you a little bit to reach out or trying to trick you to break no contact. And I have a video on that as well called, Will Your Ex Trick You Into Breaking No Contact? And they will. Unless they are directly contacting you, like a text or a call or showing up or writing a letter, anything else, they're wanting you to do the heavy lifting and the work to make them feel wanted and desired and that they can still stay in relief mode because you're not going anywhere and you want them really badly. So make sure that it's like a tennis match. You don't hit the ball until they hit it to you. And a like on your post or watching one of your stories does not count. You will actually be investing way more if you reach out to them after they do something like that. So make it where it's equal. You will mirror them once they've contacted you. That doesn't mean that if they like something on your post that you like something on theirs, that would be breaking no contact on your end. Don't do that. What I'm saying is you are waiting until they reach out to you with a true message a text message or a phone call that's true communication and not just a like on social media. Another sign is if they still haven't picked up their stuff or if they still have some of your stuff and you've been asking to get it. It's a little bit cliche, but sometimes they'll do that because they want to have a way back to you. So maybe they have an excuse to reach out and they're keeping that as a backup plan just in case they realize they're miserable without you and maybe they are becoming miserable without you. And so they're not asking about it because they want their stuff to stay there as they plan the day or consider or, or try to get themselves to where they can reach out to you about it and use that excuse because they don't want to just use it and it's gone because then they feel like they've lost an excuse to reach out to you. So they want a free pass. And so if they've left something at your place, you still have some of their things and you've told them to come get it or they had mentioned coming to get it and they haven't and it's at least valuable enough that it would make sense for them to ask you to mail it to them or for them to come get it, then it's a good sign that they're pretending to be over you but they still have one foot in the door and they're kind of wanting to keep their options open with you. Another sign is if your ex is extremely hot and extremely cold. So maybe you happen to see them somewhere and they are just wonderful to you, asking how you're doing, they're touching your arm, they're smiling, they seem locked in and focused on you and wanting to know what's going on with you and it seems like things are going really well and you think they want to get back together or at least they're interested and then the next time they're very cold. What that usually means is that they're struggling with it. They're going up and down, up and down and a lot of times when they have that cold reaction, that will bring a warm response next time because they might think about that cold reaction and at the moment maybe they were struggling and they weren't sure what they wanted but then they think what if he or what if she is upset at me or doesn't want to talk to me again or I've blown it with them because I was cold to them then that's where you'll see a warm response if they see you out or a warm interaction and so that basically means that they're just struggling so I'm trying to figure this out and that's good it may be frustrating because you're thinking just come back to me already. Let's get back together. And I know it hurts and you're trying to be patient and you're trying to be strong, but it's difficult. But what I'm telling you is this takes time. And if you reach out too soon, if you interrupt things and you don't let them be the one to reach out to you most of the time, then that's where you can mess it up. So be patient and know that this 
is a good sign. So another sign is if they remove all the photos of the two of you on social media but one. In their own way, what they're doing is they are keeping something. They just want something to be there to hold on to and so that they, in their mind, are not completely cutting you off. In other words, they might not put this into words for you and wouldn't want to say this to you, but they also want you to keep a little bit of hope alive because it means hopefully you won't move on. At least that's what they think. I'm not necessarily agreeing with that. I'm trying to just get in their head a little bit for you. But if they have all these pictures of you two together and all of a sudden they're all gone, but one, it means they couldn't bring themselves to get rid of that last picture and they kind of want to maybe give you a little bit of hope, just a little bit, so that you don't go anywhere until they can figure this out or at least make sure that they're happy with this breakup and being away from you. So it might seem a little bit obvious, but it's a good sign. And these things can be used for encouragement to help you out, especially if you're down a little bit. But at the same time, I don't encourage you to go on this big spying stalker spree to try to figure this stuff out. That's not good for you either. In no contact, you're supposed to be getting stronger. It will help you get your ex back, but it will also help you if you can't get them back because they're human beings and it doesn't always work out. But it does a lot if you use the no contact rule like I talk about in lots of videos. You can also get my emergency breakup kit, which is a powerful guide to getting your ex back. I've linked to it in the description below. It's the culmination of 20 years in the relationship recovery service and it's linked to below. You can get it and start watching the videos in that kit, the emergency breakup kit, within a couple of minutes. So another sign that your ex is pretending to be over you is you hear from their friends and the timing of it makes no sense. I remember one of my clients told me that he got a phone call from one of her friends. He didn't even know that this friend had his phone number. And he said, yeah, they just kind of wanted to see how I was doing. They were asking about me. And it didn't occur to him, but I pointed it out to him, that's probably your ex using them to spy on you. And it's a sign that your ex is not over you. It's a sign that your ex is pretending and doesn't want you to know that they're the ones behind it. And they're thinking, this person's kind of a mutual friend, even though they're really not. And they're getting information in a way that would not make it look like they were the ones doing it. And that happens all the time in the world of intel and spying. Other people are used to do that kind of thing. And if your ex is doing that, it's a really good sign that they're just pretending to be over you. And the final sign that your ex is pretending to be over you, though this is not a complete list, it's a solid list that can at least give you an idea. So the final sign that your ex is pretending to be over you is if they keep their schedule consistent, their schedule that they've had while you two were together, before then that you would know about and they publicly talk about it. So maybe they go to a gym at the same time and they have kept that time and they mention it online because they want you to know that's where they'll be. Maybe they're keeping the same church schedule. Sometimes churches have different times for services and they keep going to that one service even though you're there. This is not a certainty but if they are keeping the same schedule with those types of things, knowing you're going to be there, or even if you're not going to be there, if they just keep doing it and mention it on social media, it's a good sign they kind of want you to know where they are. And this does not mean that you should run over to where it is at the right time and say, I want to get back together, thinking that they do as well. Because a lot of times your ex keeps an insurance plan for himself or herself, just in case they want to get back together with you. And so they might want you to know where they are, but they might not be ready for you to come say, let's get back together. It's best if you can wait on them to do that. But this is a good sign that at least they haven't shut the door completely in their heart, that they're still not certain, and they rarely are. Click the subscribe button below so that you can be notified when I have more information like this. Click the like button if you like this video, click the notification bell, and leave a comment. I'm able to answer some of your questions in the comment section. This has been Coach Lee, and as always, thank you for watching.